Have you ever wanted to download a Minecraft map onto your Xbox but didn't know how? Have you tried using the program Horizon only to be met with virus warnings or damaged saves or corrupted USB files? Well, I've got the answer for you. Hello everyone, Nightfox here, welcoming you to another Tech Tuesday where we dive in depth and in detail on how to download Minecraft maps onto your Xbox without using the Horizon program. So the first thing that you're going to need to do before we really do anything else is you're going to need to find a USB flash drive. Keep in mind that this USB flash drive doesn't have to be configured for the Xbox. It can be any USB flash drive. It could even have other stuff on it. It just has to have some memory available and have no more than 32 gigabytes of data storage. This is because Xbox cannot read anything over that point. So once you locate your USB flash drive and put it into your Xbox, either in the front of the Xbox or the back, you're going to scroll over to the settings option and click on system. From there, you're going to click on storage. And you can see here that we have a USB flash drive right here. It's 1.8 gigabytes free, has absolutely nothing in it. So we're going to need to maybe do one or two things just to move it over just so we can have the setup process complete. And the first thing you're going to need to do is go over to the hard drive settings, go into games and apps and scroll down to Minecraft. Once you find it, go ahead and click on it and scroll down to where you find the Minecraft Xbox 360 edition Xbox Live game. And as you can see here, it's about 114 megabytes. We're going to go ahead and copy it over onto our USB storage drive. And it's going to take a minute to do so. But once it's done, it'll take you right back to the screen you were previously. So the other thing that we have to do, we'll go ahead and back out of everything else. We've got to go down to our profiles and click on it. And there you will find the profile that you want to associate the map download with. All you have to do is click on it and move it over onto the flash drive as well. And once that's done, you're ready to go. As a little side note, Something that you can do if you find yourself downloading maps often is you can actually take out the USB flash drive at this point just like I have done so. As you can see, it's not listed anywhere on my devices anymore. And you can click the Xbox Home button and go down to Download Profile. And at this point, you can just re-download your profile. That way, you'll have one profile listed on your USB flash drive and the other one listed on the Xbox. That way, you don't have to move it back and forth. For the purpose of this video, though, we're going to be moving it back and forth just so I can complete the step-by-step -step process. Now, let's go over to the computer and download the program that we are going to need. So say you're browsing through your favorite Minecraft map download website or you're browsing through your favorite YouTuber when you come across a map that you want to try out for your own. You have the link for it and you go ahead and click to download it. But the question is, what do you do from there? How do you get that download from your PC to your Xbox 360 or Xbox One? And how do you do it without using that Horizon program? Well, all you have to do is open up an internet search page, type in the word Modio, and hit enter. It should pop up in the results, the very first thing being modio.en.up2down.com slash windows. And I'm going to put a link in the description so you can just copy and paste it into your webpage uh, and find this website. And if you did it correctly, it should take you to something similar to this in which you will see the Modio program available for download. All you have to do, click the download button and install it. Once it's downloaded, just click to open it, allow the user control to access the hard drive, and then just follow the installation process step by step in the Modio setup wizard. And that's all there is to it. Click finish and you're ready to go. So once you've moved those two files from the Xbox onto the flash drive, you can take out the flash drive and plug it into your PC. Once on your PC, all you'll need to do is open the Modio 5 program either from the desktop or by searching Modio in your Windows search bar. Double click it and let's open it. Upon opening the program it should look something similar to this. 
And just for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to actually pull up the file folder of my flash drive. That way you can see that there is nothing installed on it already. Uh, so let's go ahead and open up a save and see if we can go ahead and locate the map that we're wanting to put onto our Xbox. And so what you'll need to do is you'll need to know where you save the map to. In this case, I actually saved it on the desktop. So I'm gonna go to either browse and navigate to the file on my desktop, or if you did save it to your desktop like I did, you can conveniently just drag it and drop it into the program itself. Upon doing so, you should see some information. First off, you're gonna need to confirm that the map is correct by the name of the map right there. And also, down here at the bottom, you should see where it says save to the profile that you're wanting to save it to on the USB stick. If you go to the advanced options, you can take a look at a few things here, edit the package content, pull the save game .dat. For those that want to use the Minecraft converter program, you can go ahead and use that file right there to do everything that you need to do with that. Also, one thing that you can do that I've had problems with doing on the horizon tool is you can actually change the thumbnail of the map save just by going to the advanced section here and going clicking on change. And since I made this map, I'm going to put my picture as the the thumbnail we're gonna save the changes we're gonna go back to general and we're going to hit save to the USB stick as you can see it should start loading up the save and saving it over to the USB drive I'm gonna pull up the USB drive it says it has been saved successfully so if we go in here now all the way over you can see over in the G content here if we navigate through our profile you can see the map listed right there ready to go for us now one issue I've seen some people encounter is an issue that pops up saying that they couldn't find a save or that the file path was messed up. Basically what they do is they go ahead and they'll bloat in the map, everything looks good and they click on save and upon doing so you get this error saying that an error occurred while attempting to save to the USB stick that it could not find a part of the path. Uh, basically, that just means that the path here over on your G drive was messed up. Uh, somehow or another, it got renamed to a different folder in the conversion process. So what you need to do is you need to look at the file path here, which is G content, that long number, that long number, and make sure that all the numbers are correct over on your USB flash drive. So we're just going to check it real quick. We're going to go into content. Uh, we're going to look at this big long number and compare it to this big long number. Everything looks correct there. And then we're going to compare the next number, which is this big long number, and then this big long number. And look, you can see right here that the number has been changed. So we're just going to correct it to the correct one right here. And then we're going to go in one more time and then look at this number. Make sure this number is the same as that correct number. And then that should be all there is to it. So now when we go ahead and click save, it should go ahead and save the file properly. So that's it, now we've got two files on our USB flash drive. Let's go ahead and throw the flash drive back in the Xbox and see if we can load up the map. <laughs> So now that we are back on the Xbox, let's go ahead and go back over to the settings menu and go into the system settings and then storage. Now at this point, you should have already plugged in your USB flash drive, but if you didn't, go ahead and plug it in right now and then just go down to it. And we're just gonna need to move over the profile from the USB back to the Xbox. Now I've already done so, as you can see, it's back in the hard drive here. Uh, listed right there. Also at this point if you want to go ahead and move over the map to your hard drive All you have to do is go ahead and click inside the USB storage underneath games and apps and select the Minecraft section You should see the map there to where you can click on it and hit move to the hard drive itself by selecting it or copy to the hard drive either one will work for the purposes of this i'm going to leave it separate that way we can confirm this is the map that i was using for this tutorial let's go ahead and load up minecraft and see if we can open it once we are on the minecraft main screen we're going to go ahead and select play game and if you have a usb storage device and the map is located on it you can scroll down to it and click on it or the hard drive depending on where you have stored the map itself uh, for the purposes of this, we're going to select the USB storage device. And as you can see, there it is right there with the custom thumbnail, the 4-in-1 Skywars map that I created. We're going to go ahead and click load it up and see if we can access the map. And there we go. We are in the map. We're going to confirm it by going over here, seeing that this was the map made by myself. 
uh, and everything. So everything's good to go. Everything looks correct. We're not having any issues with lag. Everything's working the way that it should. That is how you download a map from the Modio. But let's say you're a map builder and you want to know how to upload a map. In the final section of this video, we're going to show you how to do that with this program. So for those that want to know how to upload a map, basically what you're going to need to do is go back to your Xbox home screen, go all the way over back to the system settings, and then we're going to click on storage one more time. What you're going to need to do is navigate to where the file of the map is stored at, uh, which in this case is going to be on my hard drive. Uh, you're going to click on games and apps, scroll down to Minecraft again, and then select the map itself. Uh, this time I'm going to be using the building game, which is another map that I created, uh, and we're going to just copy it over onto the USB storage device. Once that's done, we're done with the Xbox, let's go ahead and jump back over to the computer and I'll show you what you need to do from there. So once you're back on your computer with your USB storage device installed on it, all you have to do is go back to the Modio 5 program and select USB stick. From here you'll select Minecraft and you'll see the building game located right here. We're going to go ahead and click on it and it's going to open it up. At this point all you need to do is go down to advanced, go to show right there where the file path is and that will take you to where the map is stored on your USB drive. From here all you need to do is click it and drag it and drop it on your desktop and it is ready to go to be uploaded. Another way to go about putting the file onto your computer is if you go into the USB stick, click explore device, and then going into the content, you can click on the content, click on the profile name, and then just kind of navigate to the game saves until you come across to where the building game .bin file is. Again, you can click it and drag it and drop it. And that is all there is to it. From this point, we can take this file and upload it to our favorite file sharing website. I myself like to use Mediafire.com. You can come here and sign up if you don't have an account. It's free and it gives you about 12 gigabytes of storage. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and you can click on sign up and then you can walk through the process of just doing the 10 gigabytes basic storage by getting started and choosing a username, password and all that kind of stuff. Since I already have a login, I'm going to go ahead and log into my account and we are going to go up to the top to where it says upload. We're going to click upload files and then from computer. From this point, you can either click on the add files button down here at the bottom and navigating to where you have stored the file onto your PC. As you can see, we've got it right here. We can click it and open it. Or if you do have it saved on your desktop, you can click it and drag it into the window. After that, go ahead and hit the begin upload and it should go ahead and upload the file. And if you look here, you can see that the building game file was uploaded successfully. All you got to do is go over to the little chain link icon and click it to copy the link to your file. And now you share it with your friends. Give them the link so they can take it and go over to the Mediafire and download the map for themselves. Now as a bonus for watching this video, I am going to be providing in the description a link to the 4-in-1 modded Skywars map that I did create and used as an example in this tutorial. So you guys can check it out and download it for yourselves. That's going to be it for this Tech Tuesday, and I hope that you found some of this information helpful. Modio is a great program to use, very user friendly, and it doesn't cause any issues with your virus program much like Verizon had done in the past. I highly recommend it, and if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, feel free to message me down below in the comment section or on Twitter using the hashtag ITFox, and I'll try to do my best to answer your questions. I want to thank you all very much for watching, and until next time, stay foxy everybody, and I'll see you all later. Goodbye!